Bianca Hayes cycled more than she slept, riding for over 20 hours a day for almost two weeks straight. Last Sunday, she was just two days away from breaking the women's record for fastest ride across Canada. That's until a collision with a motorcycle partway through Quebec. I heard something and looked behind and there was a motorcycle flying at me. Hayes feels lucky to leave with only a sprained ankle and a concussion. I definitely the, the scariest thing on a bike. I've never, uh, I've never gotten into an accident before. Um, it all happens very quickly. And, you know, I think it's, it, it's not common that that cyclists sort of walk away pretty unscathed from things like that. So I, I just feel very lucky. The ride may be over, but now hits closer to home than ever. She was inspired to ride because of her 32-year-old sister Katrina, who died of ovarian cancer in 2018. His nephew is now seven years old. Just seeing him, seeing him grow up and, and knowing that he's growing up without his mom, it's, um, it's sort of, you know, extra motivation for me to continue what I'm doing. Her ride has raised over $119,000 for ovarian cancer, a disease that takes the lives of five women every day in Canada. And survival rates haven't changed in 50 years, which is so devastating and just really calls to attention why more research needs to happen into, into the disease. Even though she had to hit the brakes on this ride across Canada, her journey is far from over. Hayes will keep fundraising, and once she's recovered, will get back on the bike to keep pedaling too. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.